Black Friday is upon us and my friends over at MotionVFX asked if I'd be willing to showcase some of my favorite plugins from them so that you can get a good idea of what plugins to pick up this Black Friday. Make sure you use the links down below as well as code BLACK30 to get 30% off of your order. Also, they have other amazing stuff like if you spend over $100, you get M Routine for free. So if you're in the market for plugins, now is the time to buy. With that being said, let's get into our first plugin. M Travel 2 is absolutely essential if you are any sort of travel content creator. Firstly, it comes with all of these beautiful backgrounds that you can use like this map or this background texture. I love the city animation happening here. And we can drag these down on the timeline and over here on the right side, we have a whole bunch of options for customizing. We can disable the moon, we can change the color of the moon or the sky, pretty much anything you can think of to make this match your branding. Scrolling further down, there's all of these different animated icons which are super fun. And of course you can customize these to get them looking like your branding and even further down we have stuff like these lighting effects that you can place over your video. You'll see it's kind of giving us these nice glares. Plus we have stuff like this calendar which you can go in and customize. We have lists, we have lower thirds, so many options for content creators to use in their travel films. But the one thing that really sets this plugin apart is the map animations. I'll scroll back up into the compositions and you'll see we have stuff like city road, we have country, gallery, but my absolute favorite one is this travel map map animation. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down on the timeline. And if I push play, you'll see that we have this beautiful animation that plays out over these two locations on the map. Now that in and of itself is pretty cool, but what makes this 10 times better is that this is fully customizable. So we can go up to the top right under our settings and change it from final effect over to set location. This is gonna give us a zoomed out image of our map. And now we can set point A and point B to wherever we want on the map just by clicking and dragging on them. So for example, we could go down to South Africa and we could go ahead and take point B and go to somewhere in Central America. Now all I need to do is change change the settings to go from set location over to final effect. And if we push play, we have this beautiful animation from South Africa to Central America. Then we can adjust stuff like the C color. So if you wanted a deeper blue, we could bring that down. We could bring C color two to maybe a more turquoise color. We could change the color of the land. Maybe you wanted to darken it down a bit. There's really a ton of different customizability in here, as well as the ability to name the different locations you're going to. We could go ahead and change landmark A to South Africa, and we could change landmark B to Central America. And of course you can change all your font colors and pretty much anything you could possibly think of in here. Then even further down, we can change the content on path type. So right now it's set to that airplane. We could change it over to an arrow or you could even change it to a drop zone. So if you wanted to have your own icon, you could set that all up inside of this plugin. A super powerful plugin, especially if you are a travel content creator. I highly recommend you pick this one up, especially on Black Friday. This next pack is one that I don't think gets enough love because it is so incredible at adding a lot of energy into your edits at a very fast rate. And that is M Transition Data Mosh. This is incredible if you're trying to do any sort of glitch transitions inside of Final Cut Pro and it's one of my absolute favorites. All you need to do to apply M Transition Data Mosh is go ahead and locate it in your transitions and over here on the right hand side, we can just click and drag this on our timeline. Go ahead and push play. You can get an idea of what this looks like and you'll just see it creates this really nice pixelation morphing effect or we can take a look at custom transmute what's super cool about all of these custom ones is that we can customize them to make them even better for our videos so of course just like any other transition you can shorten or extend out the length of them but by selecting them you'll notice there's all of these other options happening on our video so I'm gonna park my playhead at the middle there and we can drag up the pixelation strength and the aberration strength adjust the distance distortion angle and something that I love that they did is they made it so you can click and drag directly with these on-screen controls to get the effect that you're after. Let's go ahead and select distortion boost to make it really strong and if I push play we now have an even stronger transition. Underneath that is a whole bunch of other options like disintegrate down, dissolve right, implosion, morph center, pixelate down, scramble left, much left and more. So that is just a quick look at M Transition Data Mosh. I absolutely love using this for more energy in my videos.
If you're like me, you are terrible at animation and what makes it even worse is the animation capabilities inside of Final Cut Pro. That is why I love using MBehavior and MBehavior 2. These come in as a set of titles and all you need to do to animate these is just click and drag them down on your timeline and if I push play you can see we have this beautiful little animation taking place. We can go ahead and try fall tiles in. We can try halves in, we can try heavy fall in, we can scroll further down and find stuff like rotate top in. We have a bunch of out animations, so I can drag this over to the end and animate out into an X, cursor scale out. There's a whole bunch of different text options, so if I bring in something like gummy bear, you'll see how it gummifies this text, and you can of course type in whatever you want for that text. Even further down are these through animations, which are super fun, so we could try something like jelly, and that's just gonna to continue to animate as long as the duration of this title is. We could bring in Pulse. And what's even cooler is because these are titles, you can combine them. We could apply this swing animation as well as Pulse, and those are going to work together. And one last thing that I love to do is apply this onto text. So I'll push Control T to add in a title. We'll jump in here and I'll just write in whatever I want to write. Then I'll go ahead and select Jelly and bring that down and push play and you'll notice how that's animating everything. But if I just wanted the text, all I would need to do is select Jelly and the subscribe text, right click and select new compound clip and push OK. Now if we push play, you'll see that just that text is being animated by that title. There are way too many different options to cover in this single video, but MBehavior and MBehavior 2 are extremely powerful at quickly animating your scenes in Final Cut Pro, even if you've never animated anything in your entire life. Speaking of text animations, you absolutely need to check out M-Title Kinetic 2. This is a pack of 60 different title animations that you can just drag and drop onto your timeline. So I'll go ahead and just drag this design one down here. Let's go ahead and shorten that to be the duration of my video. And if I push play, it's this beautiful little title animation. Let's go ahead and drag in this other one and I'll shorten that with option right bracket and I'll push play and that brings in that text really nicely. Of course, this is fully customizable. We could just type in, you should subscribe. And then we can go into my title inspector and we can adjust all of these different attributes such as the color on that gradient. We can adjust where the highlighted text is. So if we wanted the word you to be highlighted, we can drag the highlighted text start to the beginning beginning and we can adjust the highlighted text end so now just you is being highlighted. There are a ton of different kinetic titles to work with. I definitely don't have time to show all of them, but just look how beautiful these are. If you want to speed up the title animations, you can just go to animation in speed and drag that up and we'll push play and now it's a little bit faster. We could drop in number 31. So you can just see how beautiful and elegant these different titles are for your videos. You have a ton of customizability over them and you can speed them up or shorten them down to match whatever video you are making. I highly recommend these if you need some elegant titles that add some punch into your videos. And last but not least on this list is M Tutorial. If you've ever tried to explain something to somebody or you're doing a screen capture and you really want to highlight something, that's where this plugin comes into play. There are a bunch of different things you can select. You can see there is stuff like these keyboard shortcut animations you can add onto the screen. You have a yes or no animation. There's a mouse clicking animation. Then underneath that is a whole bunch of gorgeously designed backgrounds you can apply. And then if you really need to draw attention to something on the screen, that's where you're gonna wanna come to the focus area. We have stuff like this advanced frame and if I go ahead and play forward in the animation, we can see that taking place. Let's say I want to draw attention to a box over here on the left side. We can just click and drag that to the left hand side and adjust these different handles to get this shape exactly as we need it. Then of course you can come on over into the right side. You can adjust the color of the frame. You can adjust the size of the dots that are there. You can adjust your dot width. Then there's stuff like this diagonal frame. I'll just bring that down on the timeline and we'll move forward in the animation. I can drag to adjust this. You'll notice how it's kind of blurring everything outside of it. You can enable or disable the flash animation. You can even enable or disable the entire frame. So if you just want this part to be sharp and everything else to be blurred, you have that option. It's up to you. We can enable or disable if everything is blurred. And then of course there is a drop shadow option. But one thing I really love is this highlighter. I'll go ahead and apply that down on the timeline. You'll see it gives me full control over every point of this highlighter. 
so I can just drag these to wherever I want to get this highlighter over whatever object I'm trying to bring into focus. You can adjust the line width, the line feather if you want to blur it a bit. You can enable just an outlined version of it which is really really cool and then of course you can enable or disable this drop shadow. But then underneath that is stuff like these lower thirds, which you can just apply in here. All of your text is fully customizable. You can click and drag these around on the screen as you like. We have a lesson completion animation, which we can play out. And you'll notice here on the screen is this on-screen control. So I can actually click and drag where we are in the lesson plan. So if I drag this all the way to the right side, you'll see that it's set to 100%, which is so cool that they've added that capability. Then of course, if we need to move everything on the screen we have this on-screen control we could scale it up we can rotate it and in addition to that is this beautiful progress bar that's beautifully animated and again I can just click and drag to adjust where we are in percentage on our progress so M tutorial is exceptionally powerful if you're trying to present information it has lower thirds it has backgrounds it has zoom animations magnification all sorts of different options to get your videos looking super professional so that was a bunch of plugins that I love from my friends over at motion VFX if this video was helpful Helpful to you consider pressing that like button consider subscribing and you may want to check out this video where I showcase five more plugins last Black Friday from motion the effects with that being said thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one